Hello Yellow, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream tonight. I am ready to get this finished. Hello Nightmares, how are you? Hope everyone is doing quite well today. This is the Wolf Among Us. And this is hopefully, with any luck, the final chapter the final stream to this incredible game i <laughs> yellow is that is that the the fudge police slapping someone who is licking the fudge is that what i see because it's incredible and i love it thank you swaggy sally but you're tad late anyway how's everyone tonight i hope everyone is doing just splendidly I have Pika with me, as per usual, but no bird cam because I've redone my whole setup and I haven't had time to, to fix bird cam yet. I'll help you. I see, I see, I see the trouble. It's okay, Bubby. There you go. There you go. Anyway, hope everyone is doing just well. Just well? Fine. Fun, Dandy. Hope everyone's doing brilliantly, even. Let's begin this. Fantastic game. It's 8.32 and you're not tired. Fair of fudging enough. You know what I need to do? I need to write down a note for something to do tonight so I don't fudging forget. Um... I mean... Wait, did you not get- did you get any sleep though, Yellow? At least? I hope you got some sleep. Because if you didn't, that's just unfortunate. Pika, don't bite my headphones. Okay, let's get into this chat. Let's- let's get started on the final version of this game. Final version, final episode. Chapter 5, Cry Wolf. Pika, what are you looking at? You wanna say hi to stream, Pika? Maybe you should get some sleep, Yellow. Oh my god. That's a long time to be awake. Without sleep. I mean, I wanna tell you what to do, but you should probably get some I sleep. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? We let him live. Not if I can avoid it. No. Yes. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? Yes. The strays. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Oh yeah, we said no to him and yes to Look, Frog. Uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. I 
I, 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 yellow, no. That's yellow, no. That's not okay. Oh God, Big B. That's not okay. This time is no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Uh, here we go, getting into it. Chat. Telltale Games presents. Oh god, we're just going straight into the intro. The fudge is doing that, not you. You're the one with the emotes, Charlie. You should fudge, fudging. Watch your fudging emotes. Fudging. Oh my god, Pika, are you okay? Come on, Bubby, you're just gonna hurt yourself. You're just gonna hurt yourself, Bubba. So I rearranged my room a little bit. Like, I rearranged myself, but part of that was me rearranging my room. And because of that, Pika's sort of not entirely used to it yet. So she's a little, little on edge, a little anxious. She's, she doesn't really know what's going on. Hey, Tharam. To Spearmeister. Hello, everybody. Thank you for the raid. How are you all doing? Hey, Tharam, how are you doing? You must be tired. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Detops, greetings, greetings. You see, you see that stream from Kthame? That sorry, that that raid from Kthame? The raid Kthame gave me? I like it. And if my envoys Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. Have a lot of rest. Shut up, I've got a raid. Hey, I'm AJ. <laughs> I'm AJ, or Ajani, whatever the fuck you want to call me. Preferably one of those two, anything else and I'll be very upset. Um, I play a variety of games. Right now, we're finishing The Wolf Among Us. I hope you enjoyed the memes and the fudge. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Also, my bird's going to be chirping, because I have a bird. Anyway, that's my trashy introduction. Relax for a moment, will you? How's everyone doing? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. Really? What do you okay. Think you're doing? <laughs> He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Nice, Kate. I'm nice. Sit down, Jersey. I hope the uh, no mission warps are on went well. Well, see, sure. I know what things mean. <laughs> For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? I'm doing good. I'm just settle everyone's nerves. You gotta finish this. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that! fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval. So the murders happened with his approval, then? That were true. Hmm? Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt uh, with internally. Dealt with internally? I just want to settle the issue for you. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. The crooked man, remember that. I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. Literally, this is a matter for the city? And it doesn't matter that you, you have really your own little thing going along here. Yes, These murders I made your business it. our business. No. So shut I'm the fudge up and tell me. Right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? Yeah, actually I do. The man said he'd take... So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. I could have killed him, I you know. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was George. Fudging knew it. He's the one with the ribbons. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. 
Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Oof. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Uh -huh. The fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Not anymore. Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You I'm not suspicious. While we discuss what to do with you. She what looks right, like she wants to say this. something. You're just gonna let him do this? <laughs> Everyone else is like, yeah, yeah we are. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one who... Oh. Who the shit do you think you fuck us all? Get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best uh, to no, leave now. I think no I'll be staying. I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit. But he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. Well, it could have been. truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Decide? Oh no, it's Bloody Mary. Hi. <laughs> hey. Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, no, this is not going to go well. Okay, yeah, that's a poor layout of here. We're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Oh! These quick time events not stopping me! I'm going for that portal if I can. I don't know if the game's gonna give me a choice. Go for the portal, dude! They're gonna get away! Go faster! Good! 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 You made the right choice. Come on, Georgia. Ooh, shit! I know. Oh, you're gonna- I thought he was gonna jump on the car, not grab the car? Oh, good work. Wait, what's this timer? Thing down the bottom? Oh, is that like how far we have to go before we like, he escapes?
Oh boy. What do you think it was, dude? Oh, shoot, that was him! Ah, that was a mistake. Come on, get up. You gotta go after him. Oh, they're gonna run us over? Gun it. Is sure? that their plan? Do it. Is their plan to run us over? He's not moving. Keep going. I mean, I would have grabbed onto them if I had the choice, but that wasn't one of them. Come on, And he's just gonna walk in like normal and pretend nothing's happened. I wonder if we can get in from the... Ah, oh, can't. I was going to see if I can get in through the back door. Not an option, though. Come on. We can't stay here. Uh, uh, hang on. I need a minute. Okay, can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Slowly. Oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. Yeah. But of yeah, course, it is. you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> you're gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Well... Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered... Of course it does. Those he got... So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... Mean... Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <clears throat> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him, and I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them, and then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rotting hell. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. 
Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Uh, I shouldn't arrest him. Go ahead and arrest me then. But we, we need to get the cooking guy. Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. He's right. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. He's right. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. <laughs> but what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. I would have lost everything. All of it. So maybe I did have a choice. But it wasn't fucking worth it. What would you have me do? Kill her? Dirty don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me. If Free and Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you. You don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? What this is he talking is about? The original. The original? The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove her. Oh. And the spell's broken. Oh. All free. Oh, you know fudge. what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Everyone is in on everything. Ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and Eesh. everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can... about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on <coughs> your oh, no. conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. Vivian, I'm not going to kill you. I know that. Oh, <gasps> She's going to do it herself. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here, but it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, wait, I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. Oh my god. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't. Oh. Oh. Vivian, oh. no. Fuck. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian. Shit. Just, Jesus. Vivian, oh my god. I didn't fucking mean it. I was just. <sighs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, same, Yellow. Same. Oh, fuck. Get up. Oh, careful. He's Get bleeding out up. there. Don't be kind. So big, be. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Hey, <laughs> so sure it's, it's a very bad time. How you doing? When you find him, Redsky. Hello. How are you? Really fuck him up for me. All right. 
for both of us. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Oh, Seron's no. Good. Old foundry by the river. All right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just, just the art, it Retsky. Quick. It's the art style. All right, Georgie. We're ending his suffering. That's not ending his suffering. He looks like he's in more pain. Oh, dang. This took a turn it didn't have to take. Took a big freaking turn. Well, let's finish this then. Get the guy in charge. Stupid crooked man. We'll get him and we'll make him pay for everything he's done. For everyone who's died. Everything. Still warm. He's here, alright. We're coming for you, crooked man. Yeah, of course it's locked. You're gonna force the door and not look for another way? I guess. Those packages so again. This is where they've been sending these. Oh, those lights have loaded into our presence. All good, Serons. All good. Enjoy your Doctor Who. I hope you stop crying soon. Big B Wolf. Hi, Mary. The Big Bad Wolf. Oh my god, you're finally up to the female doctor? Oh no, wait, you mean... You mean there's a female... No, okay, what do you, I don't know what you mean. Something. Female doctor? Hell yes, yeah, Serons. She's awesome, you're gonna love her. Oh my god, they've just got photos of us. With... Everyone. They it is the last season. You. you can do it, Serons. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Oh, you've got silver bullets. Silver. Did he not even it's notice the mirror there? I had to take care of some. Actually, wait, there was no mirror. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Uh no, you won't Come be leaving anywhere. Finished, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. 
Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Did yours? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? That sounds like generic elevator move. Not elevator. Generic platform movement sounds. She <laughs> Naruto runs. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's not free on Amazon Prime. Big Rip's arms. It is the latest season, so it probably wouldn't be. God dang it! Big Rip's arms. Big Rip. these attacks game where are you come out and face me oh she's coming out oh that is terrifying I'm terrified <laughs> What? <laughs> that didn't exactly give you much time, Sarons! <laughs> well, where'd she go? There she is. Are there multiples of them? Oh, come on now! That's just unfair. They better just be illusions. I am hitting these buttons, it's just that you're not meant to succeed. You're like you're you're made to get hit sometimes. Oh my god, I'm getting murdered. Oh no, we're the biggest, baddest wolf now. Oh, we get bigger? Oh fudge, I thought our full- I thought we already had our full transformation. Oh, it gets worse.
This is sort of cheating. They're on. They, they don't stop coming. Oh, that one's scared. That one's the real one. Does she bleed with everyone that dies? <gasps> oh, thank God we killed her. Okay. I thought we were about to get stabbed for a moment. Hello, Pika! Unless we did kill her, but like for real this time. Are we naked? Please don't be naked. Actually, it makes sense for we're naked. We just transformed into a big wolf, but I don't want to see it. He's like, oh, fudge. He's coming for me. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This That's a pretty good reason. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. Are you it's sure? Funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. <laughs> oh no, Serons. Not the entire thing again that. already? You just I'm watched no it all. Worker, Mr. Wolf, I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their death. Hey, Zero, how you Georgie doing? Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. What are your terms? I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear. If you change your mind, and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're he's backing off to somewhere us, in particular. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really Doing good, Zara. Doing good. This case is concerning. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. Uh, no. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. Nope. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. Not so, over. Shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Alright, let's go. 
Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What? what the terms say? are you hold on to the gun? Fine. There he is, he's handing it over. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Got him, boys. This job has worked zero days without incident. LMAO. Welcome back, KSM. Welcome back. Junior's been going good. We've arrested the crooked man. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but <laughs> that, you know... Did I brought him back? I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. I almost didn't. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. It is. It yes. is, Kate. What are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this Faith? to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? No. Thank you all for coming here <laughs> on such short notice. No I attention. Know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder As of Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was George. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, He's aren't dead. you? Yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Don't worry about it. It's done. Justice has already been dispatched. Bigby executed him. He's... what? Dead. There was a fight, so you see, dude. The culprit has been punished. There's no That need doesn't for change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case you still have a lot to answer for. I was I told don't. I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. <laughs> and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. We're not interrupting. We're going to let her read now, the whole list. is there list. anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. I don't need to speak. We They're already on his case. You are. We know what you've done. They're already on his case. I don't already. need to speak. <laughs> the crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where ground. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Exactly. So he can say this what he wants. Ridiculous. I didn't think we had to take him out of cuffs, though. Could have left him in those. 
Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A I did not zero. To a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of what are you talking about, faithful Sarons? employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is fucking bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Uh-huh. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? Oh, Seron, why are you going back to the start? You just I saw it, though! An innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. Oh, I see Sarah's. She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. What? Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. You are! <laughs> when your government abandoned you, Left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Took advantage. Yes, but... Wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters. Fair fair, sir. Fair fair. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to- And we didn't burn it, chat. Glamours. We didn't burn because it. I helped her. She was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow. Why would you want that? I know. Snow made a mistake. I had very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had if... nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. Why are we turning it on us? And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hopes exactly. for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. <laughs> They're right. Yes! You're all still afraid of him even now but you needn't be his contamination of this town is over. yes and those girls will have their justice 
Yes! We even got her onto our side. Fudge you, crooked man. You got- you all got wrecked! <laughs> very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel Oh like no, we don't have evidence. DK fam. Of course it's right. This man tormented all of you. For profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like and what are my actions? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? That was not me! He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. And that was not me. Watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? That was Bluebeard, not... He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Uh-huh. Protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I... Wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 This hey, is hey. completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. Bluebeard, please. What's that supposed to mean? That's I not mean, true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to... To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm oh, speaking. Oh, boy. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children. You too actually to command your actually own you without me. Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who exactly, Zero. Like? He's brainwashing. Yes, here she is. She can tell us now because the ribbon thing wore off. She's our witness. She's our witness. Sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's while? she doing here? I'd like to. I, I need to say something. Let her. Let her speak. Kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one Big toe out of line. Rip. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <sighs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. He's like, the curse! I How are you saying things? Body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Yes! Here's our proof! It's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a I'm gonna damn let her talk. me. And now I can finally say you're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was I'm winning the crowd. <laughs> Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. 
You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all not sure sounds fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. Until this is finished, so for sure. Whatever will and depending on when it finishes, maybe a bit more of something else. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What? You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you, enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So, so we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Wait. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. <sighs> okay, Mr. Wolf. And why is it my call? It's no one. Just do what you think is- I right. don't know what's right! <laughs> Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Oh my god, I didn't make a decision fast enough. <laughs> there you are. I hope you all... Remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't what be serious. He's done. You're just gonna put him in prison? What? This isn't the way. You guys wanted me. The right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right. Do it. This town doesn't even know what they are. The town doesn't even know what they want. Like <laughs> mm. Exactly, Sarons. Listen to how the lady can do it, and then decide whether it's gonna work or not. Hello Blackbird, how you doing? Wait! He's a fudging crow? Not what I was expecting. Hey Locke, how are you? Crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. Indeed it is. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Well, how, how are you doing, Luck and Blackbird? Hope you're both doing well. Right. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Nah, she's not. Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. I'm getting away from work. Nice, nice. Have a good we'll day at work. Later, okay? He's got a lot in her plate. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. 
Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Colin? You can't go walking out. Wait, he's leaving? Is he leaving? I have no idea. He's just a pig? No, 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 that's a person, Serons. And he hasn't taken his god dang glimmer. He's instantly your favorite character? Bro. Yeah, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. I'm going. Jesus. We only have like five minutes. Poor Toad. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <sighs> shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. I know this isn't your ideal situation here. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. Hey. You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So, oh. if you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's part of his insect collection, isn't it? Oh. Hello, Beetle. That's oh, a see. big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready remember to that. Out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Even in daytime. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B, where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Dang it. And the Pika saying goodbye. Who's Oh, I know I know who she is. <laughs> I'm like, who's that? Doi. It's Narissa. Hi. 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 You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Oh, yeah? I'm not sure where to start. Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Nothing luck. Putting in pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I. I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? 
I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the Crooked Man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I <laughs> told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. She was just trying to help. She was yeah. trying to help. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. Nice black bear. Then... Oh god. <laughs> Nerissa noticed that. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had oh, committed no. treason. And while the two of us we're sitting there as he was telling me this. Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie. Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you I said. I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess uh, it's done as She done. lied. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality, especially after that night after Faith. She lied, but I don't care. I tried to because it was right. <laughs> she wasn't with her scheduled appointment, so I did the only thing I could do. I I left Faith's head at your doorstep. That was her. You? I walked her over here and I left her. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... you started all this? I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was... <laughs> <doing that. laughs> Fudging when annihilated. We do it in silence. You got annihilated, no Zero. That way. We just fade like we never existed i couldn't watch that happen to faith or lily nobody cares about us not really that's not true it is you've just never seen it before but now you have you'll make things right you and snow uh, i don't know what? seems what? like no matter what i do it's just not enough for her <laughs> serums i just can't win with these people I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. <laughs> look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened. When no one else would. You knew when to show mercy. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. Hell yeah. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. Now, I remember that. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. That's what Faith said before she died. I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something. Be grip. Trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little. Mermaid. Something's not right he here. Back to you about Faith. He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. What's not? Why are we going after? I'll What's see happening? You Wolf. What? A
You win 68.9% kill Georgie. Okay, this is a recap sound. You'll see, you'll see. You win 89.6% of players brought him back alive. You win 47.4% of players chose to imprison him. So we imprisoned him, Serons. We imprisoned the cro crooked man. The town took our side. Then he tried to, like, attack us right before we decided on his punishment. And uh, we punched him and then said, you go on a fudging jail forever. So he turned into a crow. And he's now trapped in a birdcage. A tiny, tiny birdcage. <laughs> oh, who was he? He was the guy who was, like, in charge of, like, the everything. He was the, the ringleader of the huge, big group. Sort of thing. We and 98.5 accepted... Pla it, it decided to accept TJ's gift for snow. Who the fudge are the 1.5% who went, Nah, snow's not getting that gift. Like, <laughs> why? You and 54.8 said, I hope you've done some good here. It's not going to tell us how many people ran after her, though. Okay. Special stats. Okay, we lied to the beast about saying beauty. You impressed her with your detective skills. You fought him after the interrogation. You offered him protection. You gave him a drink when you asked for one, and you helped him avoid the farm. Took him back to the well and imprisoned him. Faith is deceased. You gave him money after the fight with the woodsman. George is deceased. You smashed up his place. Because screw him. Oh. Oh no, we, we sort of, um, we, we fought Bloody Mary, then we went up to his office and he was like, you're gonna make a deal with me, you're gonna walk me back, and I was like, shut the fudge up, put the gun down, and he was like, I get to keep the gun. And like, ten seconds later he was like, okay, fine. And then he gave me the gun and I arrested him and we took him back. There was like no fight or anything, he, he came quietly, for the most part. We drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. You reported him to Snow for burglary. You brought her along with you to the trip trap. You sh showed her Crane's photograph of her, and you promised to bring the Crooked Man back alive. You chose to wait for Tiny Tim. You accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow, and you chose to arrest him at the trip trap bar. Woody had fudging nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Oops. Where was the choice? What? What? What did it matter about whether or not we killed Tweedledee? Like that didn't do anything for us. We spared him, and that got us nowhere? I don't even know. Anyway, chat. We're finished. The wolf are... Excuse me, what? Graphic novels? There's more? Fudge that. <laughs> anyway, we have now finished. The wolf among us. It's done, complete, finito, and the sequel has been announced as well. So, I sort of want to play the sequel when it comes out, because this was freaking fun as hell. Well, we at least got an ending. What do you mean we at least got an ending? You said it like we didn't. Why are these locked? Are there people we missed? The 13th floor. The Witching Well. Jack. Lily, oh she dead. Troll Cross, Georgie Porgy was his name. Clever Hounds, Nerissa. Troll Funeral Rites, Vivian. Swineheart, Flycatcher, Headless Horseman, The Trip Trap Bar, Auntie Greenleaf, Glamour Tube. Oh, Glamour, not Glimmer. Whoops. This is gonna go through everything. Because I just want. I just want things to stop saying new, you know? So chat, the question is, what do we play next? Lily died? Why does it sound wrong? I don't know. What do we play next, chat? That's the question. I'm not fudging playing Osu. Serons, don't be part of the problem. Oh, we got achievements. Complete chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, and chapter 5. All of episode 1. Really? These are the achievements? Just complete each chapter? <laughs> Somehow we unlocked all the Book of Fables entries in Episode 5, but... Yeah. 
So what do we do now, chat? We've finished The Wolf Among Us. We now find another game. The question is, what game do we play? Everything reminds you of Doctor. I mean, I guess it'd be like that. You know? So, chat. What do we play? 